let's just say that sometimes I really do. I am this close to giving up. Good morning, everybody. It's a cloudy day today and I have had to do so much work to protect my little garden. I mean, protect. Obviously, we live in suburbia. I live in suburbia here. It's not wild, but we do have a lot of wild animals. We have gophers and raccoons and skunks. Those are like the ground level wild animals. And we have, you know, hawks and herons and other things that affect, you know, my bird feeders and my pond and so on. But the gophers and raccoons right now. Oh, and squirrels. How could I forget the squirrels? <laughs> now, I love them all and they have a right to live here. But my garden is not like here for their entertainment. I mean, it is. They think it is, obviously. And especially spring, when we have all the young ones who want to test the boundaries and, you know, just have fun with things, you know, party on a Saturday night. That's here. <laughs> so I've had to do so many protective things that I'm not going to call <laughs> the garden the garden anymore. I'm going to call it. Alcatraz because that's what it feels like. I've put up so much mesh, wire mesh, and cages. I So I'm gonna come and take you through my Alcatraz garden. Yeah. Sometimes I am this close to giving up because it is a lot of work in a zone three to five, mostly three, uh, garden. It's a lot of work to keep the plants alive. So I have temperature, then I have, I live in a clay, rocky area, that's a challenge. Then we have insects that come, which is, once again, fine. Sometimes it just feels like everything's against you and why am I bothering? My garden is, it's such, I just, it's such a peaceful place and it's such a happy place for me and it's, when I'm working in it, I not working and it is work but I love it I, I couldn't really I don't want to do anything else with that time and when I'm out here and the birds are flying and there's bees and butterflies um, and I'm in that hum of their sounds it's just uh, I'm just so happy and that's kind of why I do it <laughs> some days I'm just tired of like the uphill battle but for now I will continue my, my efforts. So come on, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Let's start the tour as we always do from this beautiful beginning, except today in my vegetable garden, there are vegetables, which you can hardly see anymore because all my potted plants are here from my deck. And most of them have been wonderfully damaged, eaten, flower, leaf, all, all of these were something, crushed and eaten, 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 not a good start. Are ready for the worst part now? Avert your eyes because it is not a pretty sight. I mean, what the heck is that? Not the look I was going for, for my deck. Remember how I said I like to sit up there and had all the plants cascading down the stairs? Scrapped for now, anyway. At least the rest of the garden is still really pretty and they're leaving it alone for now. Okay, let's go for a walk around the unchained garden. <laughs> The iris are just finishing. My wild, these grasses grow super tall. Monarda are getting super tall. Clematis have started blooming. This is milkweed that springs up everywhere, which I love. More milkweed. They grow super tall and we'll have the monarch butterflies where they are. Hollyhock, 
the ferns have had to survive the gopher um, highway behind there. So they got like big holes and got crushed down, but they're okay. Oops, Poppy. See, when you start to see big holes like that, that's not normal. And they did eat a couple of the poppy um, buds, but I'll stand that poor guy up. Mm, this perfume is so incredible. Mm, I could stay here all day and just smell it. Peonies exploded in the heat and now it's um, rained so they're too heavy to stand up and the wisteria remember before my walk it was just branches look at that now I'll give you another look from another angle it's so pretty Here's the peonies, but they smell, oh my gosh, their perfume is amazing. For some reason, those deck flowers are all okay. The ones back here, so far, okay. Mosquitoes are out. Hear me smacking myself. <laughs> That's what that is. And this right now is such a gorgeous view. Look at all those beautiful foxgloves. Just sit here and watch the bees go in and out. They're so much fun. Not today, it's raining, they're hiding, I guess. And here it continues. Oh, this is my favorite view. Right now. The view changes according to what's blooming. Look at all those different colors here. This gorgeous peony. The lavender are all coming up beautifully. And roses. I don't know if you remember, in last week's video, I showed you my cage garden from early spring and how visible the cages were. Whereas right now, unless you're really looking for them, I don't even think you'll see them. Those are all the delphinium. And the hostas down here just seem to covered, have covered up most of the cages. So, and when I take pictures, I tend to take pictures of the flowers up above, so I'm not so worried. This is to stop squirrels from going and taking all the apples from the tree, which they've already taken a bunch before we realized they were doing that. More wisteria up here. And honeysuckle. Looks a bit much, right? Believe me, it's not. These covers are to prevent the raccoons from ripping out all the lily pads, which looks a lot worse than this, believe me. And you can see, they just reach in and they tear all the leaves like that. And all this is to protect 
this princess here. I have to take all that off to take a photo. See what I'm saying about it getting kind of ridiculous? I mean, come on, come on. And here they have dug up my potted plant and then tucked it under the stone. Also, I think that's the third time now that they've dug up that pot, that plant. I can't believe it's survived. Monarda are still growing. In the middle of all these Monarda are trumpet lilies and their flowers are just starting to form. And the Monarda actually reach almost that high. So they still have quite a ways to grow. In the meantime, there's this beautiful wild, white wildflower. Here we have peonies in fin the pink are finishing, the white are continuing. This is going to be all red Monarda growing here. Another beautiful honeysuckle. Dropping its little petals on the ground. <laughs> Decoration. More wisteria because you know, can't have enough wisteria in this house. Now you see the whole archway. These two growing so low here. So funny. Nice for pictures though. This is another clematis growing. It has a nice pink flower when it blooms. And back we go the other way. I have to remove that rain bucket. I keep saying I'm going to remove it and there it is in my pictures all the time. <laughs> This other vegetable garden is so much improved since the last time you saw it. Look how tall they've gotten. I've already snipped them so that they'll grow bushier. And I've eaten both parsley and arugula and some basil. And cilantro, arugula, green beans, Swiss chard, and kale. And so that's it. Oh, my cage drama I've shared with you and I'm happy to report that I think it's working because the gopher has not shown any signs of coming onto the deck and that's really good news because I use a lot of those plants to get bigger before I can put them back into the garden here. As you can see, everything's so big that putting a little plant in just, it doesn't even have a chance. So this way, um, it's not getting chomped up and actually has a chance to grow bigger so it can get put in this big garden that I have. On another note, um, what we have is actually called a ground hog, not a gopher. I kind of use them interchangeably, but they are two similar but different animals. So it's a groundhog. If I keep saying gopher, just ignore me, it's groundhog. Also, I realized I haven't um, posted so many beautiful flowers from June that I I'm gonna do an, uh, just a flower video next week probably, and it will be full of beautiful spring lilac and magnolia and even tulips, I believe. I don't even think I put tulips anywhere, so they have come and gone, and we're already now into the late spring garden, and soon it's gonna be July, and that's a whole different garden. So stay posted if you love flowers. I'm always gonna be posting flowers. See you next time. I hope you have a great day. Bye.